So what do you think about getting the COVID vaccine today? I don't know, Doc. What about the side effects? If you look in VAERS, there's millions of side effects. True, but those aren't all verified. You think they're made up? No, I'm saying a lot of those side effects weren't actually from the vaccine. But it says they were. The VAERS data isn't automatically verified by professionals. It's reviewed by the experts to look for patterns. It says thousands of people died from the vaccine. That seems like a pattern to me. For instance, on VAERS right now, 12 people were reported in October of 2021 to have died within seven days of getting the COVID vaccine. I don't want to die. That month, 6.6 .6 million Americans were vaccinated. Okay. And 55,000 Americans die every week. From COVID, I heard that's inflated because no from anything there are a lot of americans gone on the tour of japan what have you missed what have you seen jack of all value hey. Hey. what you're seeing here is a gentle touch causing a grown man in china to collapse on the ground then suddenly, a mysterious force causes this auntie to collapse to the ground. A light shoulder tap forces this next woman to the ground, and the shover suddenly collapses too. What is happening in China that so many people are inexplicably collapsing to the ground all around the country of China? to brag i don't care but i want you to know double vaxxed booster never got covid clearly jesus loves me the most seriously so nice so nice Comedian Heather McDonald is out of a valley hospital tonight after she collapsed over the weekend during a show at the tempe improv you know and i got the shingle shot and a and I said, and I've never had COVID. So clearly Jesus loves me the most. And then I, and then I went, oh, oh, and then I fell over. As McDonald says, doctors found no specific reason why she collapsed. Hepinizi saygıyla selamlıyorum. for 19 year old kids wow there was another frightening moment on air in 2022 when sportscaster bob rathbun slumped in his chair and started convulsing his co-anchor unaware of the emergency kept talking i look for this kid to have a really good first half of the season as, as rathbun lost consciousness as someone off camera reached in to help him Bob's The evidence has been staring at us in the face for a while now. Statistics from 2022 show a dangerous trend. There's been a rise in the number of unfortunate incidents. Young men and women in their 20s and 30s dying from heart attacks. The reasons? Either long COVID symptoms or COVID treatment side effects. Cut to 2023. We told you about death on the dance floor last week. There have been alarming reports of heart attacks during Garba nights this year. These are nights of frenzy, dance, high octane music, high adrenaline moves. Imagine one second you're dancing and the next you could collapse. So much so that organizers in Gujarat, in India, have kept medical teams on standby at venues. At least 10 people died of heart attacks during Garba nights in Gujarat in just 24 hours. The youngest victim was 17 years old. Imagine that, a heart attack at 17. Let me now circle back to the ICMR study. 
It was focused on answering one question. Why are young adults between 18 and 45 years dying of heart attacks in India? Tom Lockyer was playing the 15th match of his first season in the Premier League. We're not showing the agonizing moment Luton's captain collapsed after 59 minutes. A Premier League soccer match between Luton Town and Bournemouth has been abandoned after Luton captain Tom Lockyer collapsed on the pitch. The score was 1-1 when the 29-year-old fell to the ground in the 65th minute with no one near him. He was carried off on a stretcher and taken to hospital. Luton says Lockyer is responsive. It's the second time this year he's collapsed during a game, with the last incident requiring a minor surgery to treat an irregular heartbeat. It was Lockyer's second heart scare in a match in seven months. After collapsing in the championship final that secured Luton's promotion, surgery was required. An atrial flutter, which is um, basically the, the heart, um, just uh, irregular heartbeats. So it just wasn't responding how, how a heart should respond in them situation. Tonight, the family of an NFL player says that the public's compassion means the world to them. Buffalo Bill safety Damar Hamlin collapsed after making a tackle during last night's game. The team says the 24-year-old suffered cardiac arrest. Hamlin is in critical condition right now. His family says he is receiving exceptional care. Sudden cardiac arrest is the leading cause of death in young athletes. The heart of Denmark's Christian Eriksen also stopped beating at Euro 2020, but he had a type of pacemaker fitted and he's now playing for Manchester United. Medics confirms the 29-year-old received life-saving CPR on the pitch during Saturday's game against Finland. Now to a scary incident involving the son of NBA superstar LeBron James. 18-year-old Bronny, a freshman on the USC basketball team, suffered a cardiac arrest on Monday during a workout on campus. The scare came less than a year after another USC player, Vincent Iwichakwu, suffered a similar cardiac event, collapsing at practice last summer. Dr. Martinez, let's bring you in here because this incident, of course, sadly harkens back to what we saw happen with Buffalo Bills player DeMar Hamlin when he suffered a cardiac arrest after he was hit during a game. Hamlin, just 25 years old now. Bronny is 18 years old. Athlete, no, medi no known medical conditions. How unusual is it for something like this to happen to a young man, an athlete? It was Friday, October 13th. 16-year-old Angel Hernandez had just hit his best time ever in a cross-country 5K. His score was enough to qualify the team for regionals. It was also the last race the teenager would ever run. After finishing the 5K, witnesses say Hernandez collapsed to the ground at the finish line at the Buff Fields in Haltom City. Some friends helped him over to the water station where he collapsed again and was then rushed to the hospital. Angel passed away about an hour later. Off camera, Angel's family members told me they still don't know what exactly caused the teen to collapse. Uh, heart attack deaths have become more common across all age groups since the start of the coronavirus pandemic. But a recent study found that young people are actually most at risk in this case. In Connecticut, at least 18 teenagers and young adults have shown symptoms of heart problems after getting the COVID vaccine. According to the CDC, this condition occurs more often following the second dose and typically four days after vaccination. But despite these cases, medical experts continue to encourage young people to get vaccinated. They say it's still worth it. Across Connecticut, a rare complication is turning up in young people around four days after their second dose of the COVID vaccine. It's called myocarditis, an inflammation of the heart muscle. This is a different kind of pain that um, is more pronounced when children are lying flat. Um, it's usually relieved when they sit up. It can be just described as sort of a diffuse discomfort in the chest. So far, there, there doesn't seem to be any common underlying condition. All of these patients were considered healthy before coming down with this. But again, the CDC is keeping a watchful eye over this issue. The terrifying incident was quickly filed, uh, followed by wild speculation and conspiracy theories. Elon Musk today suggesting the COVID vaccine caused Bronny's cardiac arrest, tweeting, we cannot ascribe everything to the vaccine, but by the same token, we cannot ascribe nothing. Myocarditis is a known side effect. The only question is whether it is rare or common. 17-year-old Daniel Moshi loved to sing, and his talent for it was undeniable. It's an honor. Oh, to see my son sing to the Lord, praise him. It was an honor also that I was playing for him. 
Daniel's father, Loden, would sometimes accompany his son on the piano. But those days have now come to a tragic end. On Friday, the Leiden High School senior died after performing during a very special choir workshop event at Naperville North High School. He was singing, they had dinner, and he was just fine. And they told us that while he was doing his solo, his solo he just passed out. Daniel's mother, Carolyn, says her son was rushed to the hospital, but doctors would later tell his family that he passed away. Carolyn says the DuPage County coroner told her that at this point, they have no clue why he died.